folks, welcome to another Fiddlehead Fiddle Lesson. I'm gonna show you the tune Bonaparte Crossing the Rocky Mountains. That's a mouthful, but it's a pretty sweet tune. And uh, I'm just gonna play the whole thing and then show it to you in a step-by-step, note-by-note manner. There are left-hand fingerings in the comments field below along with links to other related videos. All right, cool, here we go. start over after that. A lot of these fiddle tunes, old time, bluegrass, Irish, when you play them slow they just sound so beautiful and nice. I love playing them slow but truth be told they are played faster usually and they just have a different quality. But I guess my point is Try to just, you're, maybe you're a beginner, intermediate fiddler, try to really just enjoy this tempo you're playing it at and just enjoy the sound of how it is at this speed. Okay, so we're going to work for the tune in quarters, and I'm going to generally just play you a quarter of the tune, like first quarter of the A part, and then we'll break it down even further note by note after that. So here we go. Here's the first quarter of the A part. So let's, let's get started. <clears throat> so a lot of this tune, most of it is in A Dorian scale. So good idea would be to warm up with the scale. Open one, low two, three on A, and then the same on E. Playing the scale for the tune will help you play the tune, but it'll also make the playing of scales way more fun see the connection between the two and the usefulness of scales. So, okay, so here we go. Let's do this first quarter of the A part to Bonaparte crossing the Rocky Mountains. Say that three times fast. Okay, so it's gonna start A L O two. Going to open A. Okay, let's give you a better view on the left hand now. added open one open. Okay, let's add more. We're gonna go to D and add three, one, three. Bring all that together. Good. Let's do that again. back to A string and do low two three. Now add open E. And now go back to A low two three. Here's that little bit again. Okay, before that we had this. That's the whole first quarter. All right, here it is again. So this part, this line is repeated three times throughout the tune. Um, so I think it's something worth staying with for a little bit. So let's you and I loop on that one line three times. 
If this is too easy for you, you can skip forward, but I think that if you're a beginner learning it, this will be a great idea. And what happens through looping, you get a sense of play versus just thinking about the tune. So let's do that right now. All right, excellent. Thanks for doing that. Really, it will pay off later, you'll see. Let's do the second quarter of the A part right now. All right, let's break, uh, break down the second quarter. We start on E string, open, low two, three, low two, open. Here's that little piece again. One more time. Then we add on A string, three, low two, open. Let's put those two pieces together. Again. Okay, now let's, let's start a new piece to add to that. Still working on the second chord. We're gonna do on, on D string, three, one, three, three. Again. And then we're gonna add an open A and a D3. Here's that again. Again. Before that we had Then we add Listen to it all put together. Good, one more time. Okay, good. So this part is repeated quite a bit too. So this is also worth your practice. Let's, um, let's just, I'm just gonna suggest you pause and practice it on your own. You can use looping or you can practice it in any way that you need. Just pause and practice right now. Now we're gonna move on to the third quarter. Guess what? It's the same as the first quarter. And now we're gonna do the fourth quarter of the A part. Okay, so let's break down that fourth quarter. Um, it starts like the second quarter, so you know that much already. Good thing you practiced it so much before. Same exact start, and then the next few notes are the same. So this much is the same. As the second quarter start. But now we're going to do something different. We're going to go A1 to D3. And then open A. So here's the whole part we're adding that's different. A starting on A1. Again. 
A1 to D3, back to A. <clears throat> All right, I think we can just do the whole fourth quarter again very slowly. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, I think we have all the pieces now of the A part. Before we try to play the whole thing, why don't you take a moment, pause right here, practice each part. Maybe you have to rewind, maybe you don't. Just make sure you've got all the parts and then we're gonna put it together. Okay, let's do the whole A part to Bonaparte crossing the Rocky Mountains. One. Okay, good. So I just want to say right now, we're about to head into the B part. If you have this A part down, you really have most of the B part. In fact, the second, third, and fourth quarters of the B part are the same. So again, make sure you got this really good right now, and then we can go on to the B part. Anyway, I'm going to just start in on the B part. I'm going to play the whole first quarter of it, okay? We play it real slow and then break it down even further. Okay, so that's it. It starts um, with kind of like the second quarter. Yeah, it starts exactly like the second quarter and the fourth quarter of the A part. Interesting. Um, and then we're going to do something kind of different. We're going to go to A and go switch to A3 regular 2. It's got a real cool sound put together, but here's that again. All right, so this whole line, beginning of the B part is. That's how it begins. Isn't that kind of cool, kind of haunting? I like that a lot. And then we do this again. And then we and then the second time we do that, we just add two, three, and that's it. So here's the second half of the first quarter. Ending on a long A3. Okay, before that we had this. Then, okay, and so now I'm just going to play the entire first quarter of the B part. Okay, so <clears throat> let's practice it in a different way. Sometimes if you just change the way you play something. It helps you remember it, helps you kind of get it. So what I'm going to suggest to you now is that you pluck it. Okay, let's pluck the first quarter of the B part. I should probably make sure you know what I'm doing there. 
when I pluck this way, I have my thumb against the fingerboard I'm using my index to pluck. Otherwise, it's just like playing with a bow. I mean, you hold, your left hand is just the same and you're still holding it with your chin. Another great advantage to plucking is that it's fun. It just is cool and it sounds different and it's fun. Just do it. Do the whole tune with it if you like. All right, so cool. So I'm always trying to think of how can I make practice more fun for myself and for you guys. So this plucking is a great thing for that. Okay, um, and so guess what? You know the rest of the B part because it's the same as the rest of the, uh, the second, third, fourth quarters of the B part are the same as the second, third, and fourth of the A. But I'm just gonna play it all anyway for you, okay? So here's the whole B part, just so you can see how it fits together. I'm gonna count in one, two, three, and the first notes, I should have pointed this out earlier, um, are pickup notes. All right, those are pickup notes, meaning that they lead in to the downbeat, or the one of one, two, three, four. Here we go, I'm gonna count in three. One, two, three. So that's pretty much it for this tune. I'm gonna eventually have a play along track and there'll be a link to that in the comments field so that you can kind of play along as a guitar and a beat. It's a lot of fun, you should try it out. Um, I'm gonna just close by playing the tune faster, maybe once, just so you get a little sense of, of how it sounds a little bit faster, more like you might hear it played, you know, in a, like a session or you know a jam session or something And just a note, if you want to add something more advanced, say that was really easy for you, you could add an offbeat hoedown feel. Just take a hoedown, like, oh, and add a strong beat accent on two and four, like, If you're familiar with the Boeing slur to separate to, you can add that like slur to separate to. There's no rules to Boeing. You kind of experiment, see what sounds good to you. Um, another good one is the Georgia Shuffle. Shuffle, you could add it there. I'll try to remember to put a link to the video I have on Georgia Shuffle so you could learn that and then apply it to all these kinds of tunes, reels, um, reels, old time tunes, whatevs. Okay, well, that was a fun lesson for me. Hope it was for you too. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent.